Okay, so for this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the paint tool and how to create different materials, so different and new materials. So to show you what I'm going to do, I'll just create a wall first. It doesn't have to be anything special. So I've created my wall, and I can go into the 3D view. And as you can see, I have my wall, and it's just plain. And I'm going to turn on my um, realistic view, so it's just black, because that is what the current material color is. So now, in order to change the material colors, I can hit paint, which is that little icon up there. And give it a second, it's thinking, or not responding, who knows. Anyway, in a few seconds, hopefully this menu will pop up with all the different materials that I have. So right here, we have the materials that I have that are default in Revit. So I can click it and then click the wall and now the wall is blue. Or oak. And then it just it just changes the, the color slash pattern of your structure pretty much and if you are looking for something in particular and you can't find it you can go to I believe manage yeah if you go to the manage tab over here by the modify you can click materials and all of your materials are going to pop up on a screen so that all of your material materials are here and you can see all the colors and the patterns and the appearance. So this one will be little squares and you can adjust the fade and the glossiness of it. And if you are looking for something in particular that Revit does not have, you can just simply click down here, hit create new material, and it'll show up as a default new material. You right click and you can rename it. So let's just say tutorial. And then you can go to your graphics and adjust them. Every time. And then in order to get the pattern onto your um, image in your drawing, you need to click on image and you need to insert an image. So your image can be honestly anything. All you really have to do is Go out to the internet, find one, save it to your computer, and then go in, find it on your find it from your computer, and then it'll show up and you can adjust the size and such things like that. I don't currently have any materials saved, but I can go find one really quick. So if I just type in stone and search. Stone walls. Stone. Okay, and then you just right click the one you like. So say I liked this one, I click on it. And then come over, you can right click on it. Or not. Don't need that and right click on it and then hit save image as and you can just see yeah, how that works and then hit save and then you go and click on your image and then you just have to find it so You just find it and open it, and then, like I said, if you double click on it, it will show up and you can adjust the properties. I'll show you how. So if you double click on it, 
a menu will come up and you can adjust the size and the offsets and position of your image so that it's however large or however small you want it. And that is how you use the paint tool.